You know what time it is. It's Monday, make Monday. 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 Hey everybody, this is Sean V. Bradley, CEO of Dealer Synergy, and you know what time it is. It's Make Money Mondays. What time is it? I said it's Make Money Mondays. Let's make that money. Hello, fellow car peeps. I'm Karen Bradley, president of Dealer Synergy, and I am honored to be this week's featured guest on Make Money Mondays. During this episode, I'm going to be discussing change at the dealership, specifically behaviors, paradigms, and influence. Because through the right behaviors, paradigms, and influence, change is not only possible, but probable. This topic came to mind to me when I was conversing with a general manager last week, and I realized that this is a common theme globally, not only for car dealerships, but for any business. As the president of Dealer Synergy, for those of you who don't know what we do, we're a training and consulting firm. So I often converse with dealer principals, GMs, internet directors, and sales managers regarding their ability to create and maintain change at the dealership. Keyword there is maintain because anyone can create and generate short-term achievements, but it is effective, consistent behavior over a period of time that creates permanent results. What do I mean by change? Change could be anything, changing behaviors, changing results, changing attitude, changing the dealership culture, changing processes. For this particular episode, I'm gonna use process implementation as an example, but again, these tips could be applied to any type of change you are looking to make at the dealership. I consistently hear from management that a process they had or they tried to implement failed. I asked them why so and they start spewing out a list of people who wouldn't buy into the process. They didn't believe in it for whatever reason or they did it for a short time and then completely stopped. Oh, Becky was resistant to the process. Tom likes things the way that we've always done them. I understand that there are some people who always behave this way. They are naturally negative Neds and negative Nancys as I like to call them. I'm not talking about those people. In fact, those people shouldn't even be at your dealership plaguing the minds of the right people. I don't care what type of results they are getting, they need to go. I'm talking about the right people who just don't buy into a particular new process because of the process itself and not because of change itself. I recognize that some people are routine people and do not like change, but guess what? If you are not in a constant state of evolution, you are in a state of regression. Regression means to return to a former or lesser developed state. That is not a good thing, folks. So when introducing a new process to your staff, explain to them the vision for the process, allow them to be part of the process and make them feel as if in some way it is their idea. At the end of the introduction, ask anyone who doesn't fully buy into the process to see you privately. This is an important step because if everyone does not buy into the new process, the success of the process is jeopardized. When meeting with those people or that one person, find out exactly what it is that is bothering them. What is it about the process they do not like? Sure, you can pull rank, especially as the owner or GM, and tell them that it is what it is, whether or not they like it, and if they don't abide by the process, they will be handled accordingly. If you wanna be that type of leader, fine. But please note that working on a person's behavior will only create temporary change and even resentment. It is when we work on a person's paradigms that true change is achieved. Permanent change is achieved, everlasting change is achieved. A paradigm is the way a person views and interprets their surroundings. Basically, the way a person sees the world or a particular situation. In order to reveal a person's true paradigm, you must first seek first to understand and determine what the root issue is and address that issue. Once you know that they feel completely understood, explain the why behind why you're doing what you're doing 
and get them to truly understand its benefits and the benefit of the organization as a whole. I'm not saying to throw out or give up on a new process if you don't get 100% buy-in, that would be crazy. I'm just saying that if you value your team members enough, take the time to eliminate any kind of pushback from the jump. If that doesn't work, because it won't always work, you continue as planned if you are achieving the results you intended to achieve, that person or persons will naturally achieve a paradigm shift through proven results. Point number two, evaluate your influence. Ask yourself, what is my level of influence at the dealership? Do I have a lot of influence, a little influence, or maybe somewhere in between? Even as the owner or GM, I hate to say it, but you too can have little influence over your people. Sure, your team may listen to you, but are they working out of your influence or are they working out of fear? There truly is a difference. Are your instructions simply being carried out or are your people rallying behind your cause? Do your people want to know all the nooks and crannies of the details before they act? Or do they say, we don't need to know how we're going to get where we're going, but just tell us how we could be of assistance to you and we will get you there. Now, how do you ensure the greatest level of influence? By being the change you want to see. It is easy to point fingers at everyone else but are you doing everything in your power to not just talk the talk, but walk the walk? As a business owner and leader myself, I would never ask my people to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. If a toilet overflowed and it needed to be cleaned up, guess what? I will be right there with my people, mops and buckets and all. If you feel that your influence isn't what you would like it to be or need it to be, take action. We've all heard the saying, actions speak louder than words, so act, don't just speak. It is through action that you yourself will experience change, and I promise you, as you change, your influence will grow, and as your influence grows, others around you will begin to change too. And as those around you change, those around them will change, and consequently, your organization will change as a whole. Before I end this segment of Make Money Mondays, I'm going to share a poem with you that really caused a paradigm shift for me when I first heard it. This is a poem that I like to recite during my Seven Habits of Highly Effective People sessions that Sean Bradley and I facilitate. I hope it moves you the same way it did for me. So here we go. How to Change the World. The following is inscribed on the tomb of an Anglican bishop in Westminster Abbey. 1100 AD. When I was young and free, and my imagination had no limits, I dreamed of changing the world. As I grew older and wiser, I discovered the world would not change. So I shortened my sight somewhat and decided to change only my country. But it too seemed immovable. As I grew into my twilight years, in one last desperate attempt, I settled for changing only my family those closest to me, but alas, they would have none of it. And now, as I lie on my deathbed, I suddenly realize if had only I changed myself first, then by example, I would have changed my family. From their inspiration and encouragement, I would have then been able to better my country. And who knows, I may have even changed the world. Wow, I think that poem says it all. Again, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this week's Make Money Mondays. And remember, be the change you want to see. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Make Money Mondays. If you liked it, you're going to love Bradley On Demand. Bradley On Demand is the most advanced virtual training, tracking, testing, and certification platform. What does that mean? It's an online university. And if you like this information here, we have hundreds and hundreds of advanced videos step-by-step -step on how to help you sell more cars more often and more profitably, so sign up now.